Okay, so now we've switched to 30% uh, ethyl acetate in hexane, and you can see the acetylferrocene band now coming down the column. Wow, that is really impressive. Hey guys, you should look at this. This is really very cool. This is, this is, oh, except I, I forgot that it would uh, crack a little bit. Okay, that's not so good. This is my, uh, that, you don't want to have it crack like that. That's because I let the pressure off too fast. you need to stretch it out. And this is so much more polar, that it's probably heated up the column. Okay. Did you get a scratching thing? Yeah. There she comes. One thing you have to realize is that because of this, this is silica gel, the column is getting a little bit warm as the ethyl acetate is going in. So it has a tendency to boil. And you have to be a little bit more careful about letting the pressure off slowly and not just what I did that first time, which was just to release the pressure. Because it will crack the column and kind of back up. And then it's not perfect. Almost there. There's another compound up here that's starting to come out, but we're not going to take that one out. And it's diacetyl? That's probably the diacetyl ferrocene. You know. What do you think? Is that done? Let's see. Looks like one it. One more. Look at that. Am I a pro or what? <laughs>